Hello everyone, my name is Professor Riddle. I'm gonna be your instructor for this course. I thought I would quickly make this video just so you have a name to the face. Most of you I know in this course, I've had you in prior semesters in 3900. Some of you I don't know and I'm looking forward to getting to know. Um, so I just wanted to quickly in this video, just introduce myself, a little bit of my background, uh, share a little bit of my philosophy about teacher training, uh, just kind of give you an insight to who I am and who you're gonna be working with over this semester. Um, since we are gonna be doing this mostly virtually. So uh, my professional background, I've actually taught English language arts for about a decade, um, and I taught in two different states. I taught and started my career in Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, moved to Twin Falls, Idaho. Um, so I've had both that kind of urban and that rural experience. Um, and then I actually left Idaho and back to Las Vegas. So really I taught Las Vegas, Idaho, just so you're familiar with those two areas. Um, and I've taught, um, again, English seven through 12. I was fortunate throughout my career to teach every single grade level. I taught remedial classes, general classes, advanced classes. I've taught AP classes. Um, I served as a teacher leader um, on different leadership committees in the school as a grade level team lead, uh, as a school-wide leadership, you know, on the school-wide leadership committee for program change and school change and curriculum change. So you'll start to notice that I really advocate that not only you become great teachers in your classroom, but that you really advocate for effective teacher leadership within a school culture. Um, I also uh, did a lot of extracurricular activities in my career. I was the head varsity soccer coach. I was the track coach. Um, I worked with the performing arts. Um, so I did lots of different things um, that I think give me a lot of different experience into angles of, of what you might experience while you're in a secondary school. Um, and I was also for a while, I was an instructional coach. For, so for some of you in the class, my math, my PE, my social studies teachers, social science teachers, uh, that you may wonder, okay, well, you taught English, how are you going to help me? I was serve, as I served as an instructional coach, I really got to know some of the other content areas and how they teach and the expectations and the pedagogies of those different areas. And so I feel a little bit more abreast to being able to help you in that way. Um, so I do have, like I said, that experience. Um, I'm still learning, I'm still growing um, in my own practice. And so I look forward to being able to share with you what I know, learn from you as we grow together and become better teachers. So with that in mind, my philosophy is just that, that I really find teaching um, a fun and enjoyable career, but I recognize that while some of us might have some natural inclinations to teach, most of us have to work at it. Um, some of you may be really good with being social and working with kids. Some of you might be really good at explaining concepts and designing creative lessons. Um, but all of us have some area to grow in our practice and to get better in improving our teaching. And so I just expect you to come to class every day with that mindset, that ability to learn from one another, to learn from me, um, and to just have a space where we can all grow together and become better teachers. Um, also, I have a very uh, staunch growth mindset. So I don't expect you to be perfect. I don't expect you to even get everything right off the bat. Um, I do expect you to work hard. I do expect you to grow. Um, and I also expect that, you know, every now and again, you might not get it and you might fail and you might trip and that's okay. Just know that I'm here to support you. And in the time that we have, I'm gonna give you as many opportunities to redo things, to try things again, and improve your ability to uh, improve your practice. So just know that that's really my philosophy is that I expect you to work hard. Um, and then I recognize that I temper that with, uh, or I temper that hard work with, there's gonna be times when you trip up and that's okay. That's how we grow, that's how we learn. So temper the expectation that you have to be perfect or that you have to be really good. Um, especially at this point, just do the best you can um, and, and thrive and grow. So with that said, uh, I look forward to working with all of you here in a few weeks. Uh, please go through all the modules, uh, look through Canvas, do as much as you can to prep for each week um, as we engage together. And I look forward to working with all of you soon. Thanks.